Hi everyone, uh, it's Alfred, and welcome to kind of an odd choice. Um, I've decided to make a show where I world build. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of getting distracted here, but some of my friends have asked me how I make my D&D stuff, um, and I do make D&D stuff for the record. And it's really just, I, I've... I'm very much self-taught in everything I do. I'm not a very firm believer in the right tool for the right job. I've uh, been known to cook with a hammer. And so I'm just going to kind of jump in. Um, I'm currently waiting for company to come over. Um, so if this video gets cut short, or if there's an awkward cut in the middle, uh, you know why. But I digress. This is how I usually make worlds. So first I'm going to start with a map. And that's usually not exactly where you want to start, but it's where I'm starting for this one. Really creation is how you make it. It's up to you completely. So you're completely free to do whatever you want with whatever you want, which is what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to show you how I make stuff. I'm going to open this. So this is a mess, as I'm sure you can see. What this is is a dice map. It's a system of creating an elevation map by throwing a bunch of dice at a piece of paper, which I did on my desk. Sorry I didn't record it. Um, I don't have a good camcorder. I'm sure that you're all aching to hear the click clack of some shiny math rocks. Uh, but unfortunately it's not to be this time. But perhaps next time. But I digress. Um, I used a bunch of different dice. That's why you get 20s over here. Actually, can I? That's why you get 20s over here and 15s and 10s. And then over here, there's a lot of ones. And then there's lower numbers here. I threw all my big dice here. Here, there's a bunch of uh, coins, actually, D2s if you prefer. And then I just scattered some more over here. So what I'm actually going to do is turn this into an elevation map. So this is 20 units high. Actually, here's an interesting idea. It's just so the world isn't all flat and stuff is built on top of it, three is going to be land level and two is going to be sea level. So this is going to be... Here, I'll do this. Well, that's... Zoop. That's sea. As is this. Yeah. So that's going to be a cliff there. So then we have to wonder how we're going to connect this over here. So that's going to be a peninsula. Oops. Peninsula. Yeah. And then let's just cut a little mark in here. Um, I did scoot around the map a little bit and manipulate it just a bit with my hands just to make it a little more pleasing. That's why I have this trench here of just ones and twos. And then we can cut across here. And then let's actually do this. So there's a little inlet here. And then bring it around here. And then what? Craggy cliffs down here? Ooh, actually, let's close this off. This is just going to be an island. Nice. So that whole thing's an island right there. Actually, I do want that there. This will also be an island. As will this. This one's going to be a little one. So part of it is because I'm clumsy thanks to my carpal tunnel, but it really does assist you in making interesting world shapes. And yeah, let's just put a little peninsula there and then cut across here and just zigzag it over to here. And then another island. And then this is the map, sort of. We're gonna outline this in darker colors. Because, as you recall, this is deep water. Zoop. All 
All right. All right. And then this is actually land level, so that's going to be that as well. And let's see what happens if we do this. All right. Look at that. Hell yeah. It's almost more purple, but that's okay. Okay, so this is the this is the land. This is our map. And then where do we go from here? Hmm. So you can be a little more divisive about how you make shapes. And you can even just do stuff just how you want to. Like, for instance, check this out. Bam, there's another island. So let's fill these in. Just to remember that green is land. But it doesn't have to be land. What if this is a desert? I just decided that. And you're completely free to. Just to make your world be whatever you want to. So this is going to be a desert. I'm not sure what we'll call it. Actually, you guys want to know a for real instant kill method to make a D&D &D land? We're just going to type in a normal word. Desert place. And now... Desolace. But let's put on the... Huh? Nope. De Pellart. We can also just do this. And now we edit this. I don't actually need that many. Let's check out this. Traken. All right. Capitalize that. Drag it to a more centralized area. And this is now the desert of Traken. Look at that. We just made a map. And we keep going. Um, a lot of people love just having the place where the like protagonists start being very like European. You definitely don't have to do that. I would say it's pretty boring. So this is going to be a mountain range. So we'll outline this and all. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually... Let's do this light gray. And then this in the middle, this 20. That's going to be a, the biggest mountain. Because it's the highest point on the map. So this is where like this is where you go to meet gods, you know? And we can just color this in. Look, I'm just having a good time coloring this in. I always remember to color things. And it's pretty wide. And like, granted, mountains can be that size, but... Let's actually make another hardline stance here. So this is the first peak. This is the second one. This is the third. And then we just fill that in. Look at that. See, so yeah, this, this is going to be a mountain. Here's the largest one. Here's a little small one. And here's a more medium-sized one. So this little area just has a large... What should we even call this? Because that's the thing. You've got to name everything in your world. Tolkien said so. If your world doesn't have 15,000 years of lore, you may as well just shoot yourself right now. That's a joke. Don't do that. But also, your world does not need all the lore in the universe. Sometimes it's even cooler to not have lore. See, I will make this mountainy. Of course, I could just fill it in with a bucket, but I am having fun drawing in with my mouse here. So yeah, this is just how you make topography. So we got... So I accidentally left that there, but that gives me an idea. What if there is just high grasslands over here? Now we know that 
goats typically live in high grasslands. So we will just name this. Goat Brook. Of course, we have to make that much smaller. Oops. Unbold it. Let's go with like a nine. Yeah. Just a little stony, grassy area up here where goats like to live. I'm all right with that, you know? It's a very Bob Ross kind of thing, but give things a place to live in your world. Ask questions about your world to yourself, in fact. So here we have a mountain range. And in fact, we can even make this thinner. So just like a little strip of land. And then make this area a little more... Oops. Didn't, didn't, didn't meant to go this way. Make this area a little lower to the ground. So right next door to the tallest area on the map is the lowlands. We can even name that too. Lowlands. Lowland S. Yeah. But as you can see, we've mired ourselves way over here when there's so, so much more to actually dig into. So, what happened here? Why is this so deep? Because this is all water. We can actually just... Let me grab a few stuff here. Oh. There we go. Get all these twos out of here. Excuse me for doing this in paint. The uh, dorkiest program possible. I know that there's a one here. I've decided to let it live. There we go. Cleaned up a little bit. So this is the ocean, but this is interesting. Why is this so deep? Oops. And well, the only person who can really answer that is me, because I made it, dang it. Which I will now do. Ooh, okay, I know it. This is going to be the trench. The trench. Let's make it a little bigger. There you go. That's the trench. What happened here? Ooh, okay. So what if here there is there used to be an island here? Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay, so the trench used to be an island. And then it just got taken off the map. Yeah, that's fine. That works, you know. It adds lore to the world. It adds it adds stuff. You know, there used to be something here, and now there isn't. Adding a difference to the world is how you do that. And then let's just name all the other islands and then that'll be the end of this segment, I guess. Hmm. This one's pretty low. Flood area. There's too many O's in this word. Flatteria. Flore. Yeah, okay. So this one's going to be Flore. And you can do that for every single place in your world. This one's pretty normal. So we'll call this normal. is land. Let's bring these L's together. Normal land. Noalan. 
Let's add another. Let's add another A in there. Noelan. There you go. That looks pretty good. I like Noelan. So yeah, very much like peeking behind the curtains here just to see how D and D authors usually make their stuff. This is it. You know, it's a bunch of guys sitting in desks throwing stuff at a whiteboard, seeing what sticks. A lot of it is extremely dorky, you know? Like, it's rather silly to just be like, yeah, we're going to name it Normal Land Noelan. Yeah, I like that. And then we just got the next two to name. Just. Ooh. Wary Gib. Actually, let's name Veragib. That's another H in there. Veragib. And that name, like, you know, naturally you can't just be like, oh, this is this is space Europe. This is space Saudi Arabia, you know? But in some cases, the language of an area will kind of imply the people of it. And this is a little, you know, very kind of almost Swedish or maybe Welsh. So it's off European things that are like still very knowable. But like you can almost assume that this is going to be the Norse place. Maybe just because it looks like Greenland too. All right. I'm going to I'm going to say that trades happen here. Trades rock oh god tadrak yeah there you go see tadrak and maybe there's even like a shiba lead here where like people from tadrak say it like tadrak but then people from wherever the hell this is are like Tadrock. And like, oh, God, bro, your accent. It's obnoxious. Tadrock. Get the hell out of here. I like that, yeah. So where's this going to be? I'm assuming that this is going to be where the protagonists show up. Or actually, no. Let's say that... Let's say that this... Because this, this looks the most hospitable. What if no one even lives here? What if this is in hospitable lands? Yeah, why not? You know, it's this nice, beautiful area, and yet people can't go there. Why is that? Well, we'll figure that out in the next episode. I'll name these other two little islands off screen, but that's a. Oh, excuse me. That's a good first start to the episode. Um, I've been offered. Thanks for coming by to watch me world build. This is how I make maps. All right. See you guys.